of Cornwall is the centre of a sport new to England, shark fishing. Although the Atlantic hereabouts isn't exactly shark infested, the nets of the fishermen are often badly damaged by sharks. So it's become popular these days to go and fish for these unwelcome sea marauders. Trailing pilchards is a sure way to attract sharks, and in no time a young one was hauled aboard. The Ministry of Agriculture and Fisheries want to know more about sharks' migratory habits. So onto this one, a fisherman fixed a tag. If it's caught again, anywhere, next year or later, our knowledge of sharks will be increased. It's great fun for either sex, catching the large ones by rod and line. The shark makes a tremendous fight for it before admitting defeat. If you land one weighing not less than 75 pounds, you qualify to be a member of the Shark Anglers Club. Blue waterside characters, ready to welcome any new member the day's catch might produce, gathered at the way in. To catch the monsters, you no longer have to be a millionaire in the Caribbean. Cornwall's the place. From Southampton Water, the floating sausage has made its first commercial trip to the Channel Islands. 67 feet long, it took 10,000 gallons of aviation spirit to St Helia, Jersey. The flexible barge, to give it the more dignified name, rolls onto a drum when empty. It's made of nylon, coated with synthetic rubber. It doesn't want sweeping, so he'd better get back to his ship. Though quite a revolutionary idea, the sausage may soon play a big part in oil transportation. <laughs>